Let's talk about happiness, your children's happiness specifically. When you think about their upbringing, you want them to have happy memories. You want them to smile and laugh and enjoy life. You want to see them having fun. But what if I told you there was something even better to aim for? What if I told you there was something better than happiness? This is episode number 71 of the Raising Mums podcast. Welcome to Raising Mums, a live weekly broadcast streaming on Facebook and Instagram that inspires mums to live with purpose and intention, to raise their children mindfully and empowers mothers everywhere to own their lives and thrive doing it. As many of you know, I grew up in a house that was not a Muslim household and my parents were very concerned about my happiness. What great parents, right? They wanted me to be happy. They wanted me to do well in school so I could get a good job, so that I could afford whatever I needed and be happy. They wanted me to enjoy my extracurricular activities. They wanted me to have good friends so that I could have fun and be happy. Ultimately, it was always about happiness. And I take that as a huge blessing and a huge gift that I had such lovely parents. And I also hear from you all the time saying things like, my son, he doesn't want to read. He doesn't enjoy reading. He doesn't like to write. Or I've signed my daughter up for these classes and she hates them. I just don't know what to do. I know that those classes are good for her. I know that reading these books are good for my son. But how can I make my child enjoy them? How can I make them happy? Well, friend, what if I told you that you're looking at this all wrong? What if the ultimate goal in raising your children is not only that they're happy? Of course, being happy is a component, it is a part of the picture, but what if happiness isn't a sign that you've succeeded as a homeschooler? What if happiness is not a sign that your homeschool is on track? What if your children being happy is not a sign that you are raising them well? Because let's face it, kids can be happy when we're doing things that are not necessarily good for them. If you give your children Haribo for breakfast, they are going to be so happy. Sugary cereal for lunch um, and chicken nuggets every night for dinner, they're going to be happy with you. But it's not necessarily the best thing for them. So when you're looking at a new subject, a book, an activity for your homeschool, instead of thinking, are they going to enjoy this? What about thinking, is this good for them? Is it good for their mind? Is it good for their body? Is it good for their heart? Now, I'm not saying that your children should be unhappy. (laughs) I'm not saying that if if they're unhappy, you shouldn't try to make them happy. If they're not enjoying a subject then you should, of course, try to help them enjoy it. This is not a one or the other kind of situation. Your kids can enjoy a subject and be getting a lot of from it. I mean, that's one of the great things about homeschooling is that you can make the subjects more enjoyable for your kids and, and tailor things to their tastes. So I'm not saying that your kids should be unhappy <laughs> before I get any comments about that. What I am saying is, it's okay if your children don't love everything. It's okay if they don't like every part of their homeschooling experience. If you know that it's good for them. It's okay to get your children into an activity that they don't enjoy because you know that it's building good character. Of course, if your children are crying or really upset, then yes, you step back and you approach it differently and you try another day. But it is okay for your children to be unhappy some of the time. It's okay to not allow your child to give up on something that they find hard. Because you know if they could just stick with it a little bit longer, there is so much goodness in it for them. It is okay to say no to books and friends and sports and clubs and all those things that are not good for them, even though they might love them. Why? Because your goal is not just for your children to be happy in this life. Your goal is for your children to be happy forever 
in the life to come. May Allah unite us all and our children together in genital for those. Ameen. That is the goal. So before we continue with the rest of today's episode, I just want to pause for a quick break to tell you about an incredible resource that I have for you and your family. Connect with your children this Ramadan. Strengthen their Iman. Deepen their love for Islam with our exclusive library for Muslim parents. Choose from hundreds of free resources. Teach Quran, Sirah, the 99 names of Allah, Ramadan and Eid crafts and much more. Create a memorable and meaningful Ramadan for your kids. Visit ourmuslimhomeschool.com forward slash library to get access to our huge library of hundreds of educational resources for Muslim kids. That's ourmuslimhomeschool.com forward slash library. And so when your child is resisting your homeschooling efforts, that subject that you're starting, a new sport, don't take his unhappiness as a reason to stop. Use a little bit more wisdom than that. Is that activity that you're trying to get him involved in good for him in the long term? Good for him in this life, but more importantly, good for him in the life to come. You might find that it's not. And so you can scrap that activity. But if it is, then you need to get creative and find ways to encourage him and make him more excited, make that activity more enticing to him. Because unhappiness is not always a reason to stop something, but it is a reason to get more creative in the way that you teach. I want your children to be happy. Your children's happiness is important, but it is not always the most important thing. Being a good mum sometimes means making difficult decisions, but you are a good mum and you can do this. So we're going to wrap it up here today. It's Ramadan as I'm recording this, so I don't want to keep you any longer. I know that you have important things to do in this month. But before we finish, I want to read out a review that was left on Apple Podcasts. This review is from Min Sulajain, who says, Love, love, love. May Allah bless you for this effort and accept all your efforts. Amen. And we have one from Jay Khan 27, who says, Inspirational. Dr. Gemma, I thank you. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for leaving those reviews. And if you haven't already, please head over to wherever you listen to this podcast and leave the Raising Mums podcast a five star review and tell other mums like you why they should listen to this podcast. Now, don't forget to head over to ourmuslimhomeschool.com forward slash library to join our free library of educational resources for Muslim families. You are going to find some incredible things there for this Ramadan and for outside of Ramadan. So much great stuff there and it's free. So that's ourmuslimhomeschool.com forward slash library. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today. Please remember me, my children, my family in your du'as. Have a beautiful week and a beautiful Ramadan, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.